Welcome to Ask SMM with Latanya Parsons. I am the Student Money Management Coordinator, and we have with us today Noah Jonathan Stanson Shapiro. I'm going to be a future Wake Tech attendee, and I'm here with Ms. Latoya here to ask her a few questions concerning money and budgeting here at Wake Tech. Awesome. All right, so I'm interested in hearing, you know, some of the common questions that um, college students have. Um, I hear you have a couple of those today. Yeah, just a few. So I think, you know, being a new student, the first question you always have is, uh, what's the best place to start whenever it comes to budgeting as a student? Awesome. I, that is a question I actually get all of the time of where do you get started when it's time to money, manage your money? So I would say the first place that you start is where you are. So you have to figure out where are you financially? So students are in so many different places when it comes to money. Some are taking care of all of their expenses. Some are taking care of none of their expenses. And there are some students taking care of just a few of them. So depending on where you are, that would determine where you start. So it's know how much money you have, if you are making money, and know what your expenses are. That's always the place to start. Another thing, can you tell me and some techniques or some important things to know when it comes to sewing money as a, as a student and, you know, recuperating it later on. Awesome. So when it comes to, you know, making money and spending money, what some things that you need to know is first you need to start with what are your personal financial goals? We all have different places that we want to get to based on where we are, what we've been exposed to. So it's important to first Sit down, take a minute to understand, okay, where is it I'm trying to go? Where am I now? And make a plan on how you're going to get there. So if you are spending money, you got to understand, are you spending money the way in a way that's going to get you to where you want to go? What's your end goal? What's your outcome? Are you trying to be the next millionaire or billionaire? Or are you just have, trying to have a comfortable living? Um, how much are you trying to make? So understanding all of those things writing them down, then you can come up with or formulate a plan that's gonna get you to where you wanna be. Coming in, coming in from high school, this is one question I know a lot of people have. Uh, when is the best time, do you think, to start building credit? That's a great question and a question I get all the time. So that really depends. So um, first you gotta understand, you know, what is credit? Where are you? and what do you wanna do with credit? Those would be a couple of things to kind of talk out and understand before you know when it might be right for you to build credit. So if you know what credit is all about, it's a, a relationship you have with the lender, you are borrowing money and you're gonna pay it back, and there's something that's not so little anymore called interest that's involved. Now, do you have a steady income? Because that's important to being able to repay credit. So if you don't have a steady income, now might not be the best time for you. It might be when you get that stable job. Um, are you disciplined? That's something I talk about all the time when it comes to credit, because if you have access to a few thousand dollars, will you be tempted to go to the mall and buy the latest sneakers or shirts, outfits, whatever that might be? Um, if you're not disciplined now, now might not be the best time to build credit. So those are just a couple questions to ask yourself to determine whether now is the right time for you to build credit or you might want to wait till later. I don't believe there's a magic age or a magic time. It's all based on you as an individual. So with all that information coming together, if you could give one number one tip to a new student coming in, what would that be? So the number one tip that I would have or that I would give to an individual about money would be think about how you think about money. Um, Cause that determines not just where we are, but it determines where we're going to go in life, especially when our finances are involved. So think about your beliefs about money. Think about spending habits and behaviors, and then think about, okay, I know what today looks like. What do I want my tomorrow to look like? And once we have all of those things, you know, thought out, if my behaviors today are not in alignment to where I want to go tomorrow, then what adjustments um, do I have to make? And those adjustments are going to start, start with my mind, how I think. So my number one tip is think about how you think about money.